Harry Smith makes good on a pair at the line. Terry Mills moves it across. Once again, see, when Michigan gets the ball in the middle and they run it right down the middle of the floor, there will not be a, a double team on, off the defensive pressure. Anderson's got a two-on-one with Smith. No. Traveling. Well, that's just unfortunate. Nobody's fault, really. When the pass was made by Anderson, he fumbled it just slightly. As a result, it hit... It hit Smith in his le on his left hip instead of out in front, and he just couldn't come up with the uh, with possession. Mike Griffin back into the ball game for Michigan. Wolverines with 8:35 to go on the attack, trailing by 10. Mills needs help. That time, a foul on the defense. Irvin Small reaching in, his first personal foul. Now, the team is over the limit, both sides over the limit. But, you know, you don't mind a foul like that because, again, uh, that's the way uh, they want their players to play defensively. Overplay, lots of pressure, and uh, uh, it looks to me right now, uh, Wayne, like Illinois probably has about 10 points off turnovers in this ballgame. Now, Here's the second place they'll trap. In the now, this came a little too soon. They would normally want the play offensive player to get over the half court mark and then trap him in that corner. Essentially, put him in the box with the sideline and the midcourt stripe. Exactly. Vaught. Junior out of Grand Rapids, just seven points against Minnesota, three of five shooting from the field the other night, 18 points, 11 rebounds of the previous game against Northwestern. Makes I, good on a pair here, and he's off quickly, Steve. He has six points. I don't know if the fans can hear the give and take between the officials and the players uh, from the uh, uh, microphone on the camera, but I always enjoy that in a, in a tough ball game. It's an ongoing conversation, it's, and it's funny to me. Come on now, stop holding, stop pushing, and uh, because it's real intense play out there. Sean Higgins on the attack. Terry Mills on the wing. Higgins, good look to Rice. Had it blocked from behind, it appeared. Small to Gill. Kendall Gill threw it right underneath Kenny Battle. Yeah. Again, missed opportunity in a two-on-one situation. Great call by Roger Rucker because it looked like Griffin touched that ball uh, at first. 7.57 left to go. Back after these commercial messages. Piedmont Airlines Going Places prices have a lot of people going to a lot of places. prices won't last long so call Piedmont Airlines or your travel agent right away on your mark get set go places this is my new Buick Skylark and since it's a Buick it doesn't surprise me that the Skylark is very stylish with room for five and it's smooth and powerful what did surprise me though is that Buick's little limousine is priced less than a Honda Accord DX so I got a little limousine for the price of a little car. Eight-point lead for Illinois, but really they're losing the uh, battle of the board, Steve, and I think that uh, certainly underlines how they can beat you in so many different ways, the Illini. Well, they really can. They can beat you with defense in, in terms of field goal percentage. Um, you know, uh, because they're getting dominated on the board, 13 to 7. But you know, they today they're winning this ball game with defensive pressure and converting that into points on the offensive end. Shooting percentage around 55 percent, as we uh, displayed for you. This is Michigan on the attack. But you know, you look at Illinois, and, and there are two other Big Ten games. Um, you know, they held Michigan State to 40 percent field goal percentage. They out rebounded Wisconsin by 13 boards, so they can just hurt you in so many different ways. Line I leading by eight, seven and a half minutes to go, first half. You know, I really believe Michigan, and it looks like they're going straight man now for the first time. They've got to get away from that matchup zone. It just isn't working. Griffin comes down with it for Michigan. 
This is Higgins. Came off a three-game suspension with a fine performance the other night against Minnesota. Ran out of real estate right there. Portions of today's game are brought to you by Ameritech. Ameritech, solutions that work. Wayne Larravee and Steve Grody at Assembly Hall in Champaign. Back into the lineup, Prabil Robinson in the backcourt for Bill Frieder's Michigan Wolverines. And I'll tell you what, uh, in for Glenn Rice, and those are the two guys on the Michigan team. What, they'll get a rest, but it won't be a long one. They, they need both those guys on the floor. Urban Small with the look inside of Liberty, the pass off the mark, hit the backboard. Boy, I'll tell you, you know, Illinois is going to look back at this first half when they uh, see the film, and they've played very well, but, boy, they have blown a, a three or four uh, chances to, to get an easy basket. That pass there would, would have been a layup had it, hit the, had it not hit the, uh, the rim. Griffin on the look inside of Bryce, rather bought. Boy, not a bad luxury for Michigan having a, their third leading score uh, coming off the bench in Loy Vaughn. Battle. Got a rebound coming up, I believe it's... Got to be on Higgins. Yeah, it's on Higgins, I believe. Again, that's a great call because uh, Higgins snuck a quick uh, uh, hand to the chest and uh, uh, four checks small in, you know, in fighting for rebound position. The officials making sure they have control of this game. Right there. There it is. Small makes good out of his first 11 other. You know, it's fine. Anytime you're in a, in, a, in a ball game, I think sometimes you test the officials. Uh, you, you see what you can get away with. And usually those things happen uh, when the ball's in the air and people are fighting for rebound position. Liberty leaves the lineup. Anderson back in. Loy Vaught leaves in place of Glenn Rice for Michigan. There's Marcus Liberty. Coming along in this his first year in the Illini program. Sat out last year due to Proposition 48. Great talent. Small misses the second. Anderson is there. Higgins up high, and we've got a foul underneath. Well, and Bill Freer is finally going to get satisfaction. Uh, that's been his chief complaint in this ball game. He thinks Illinois has been over Michigan's back, and uh, he'll finally get a call. Foul is on Irvin Small, his second personal. There's the record of Freeder at Michigan. Has never won, though, as a head coach in this building. And he brought two Big Ten champions uh, through here in the mid-'80s. Well, it's funny, you know, as, as good as his record, in fact, both of these coaches, as good as their records have been, you know, for whatever reason, you don't, you don't hear their names mentioned when, when people talk about the great coaches in the Big Ten. And, and I think their records speak for themselves. Uh, I know Illinois has uh, been a, a, a sweet 16 team in the NCAA tournament for uh, five solid years. And, of course, under Freeder, Michigan had back-to-back -back, uh, Big Ten championships. Higgins makes good on a pair. Michigan has cut the gap to five with a little over six minutes to go in the half. And Rice, offensive. Kenny Battle, second personal. Well, it's a, that's a that's a big call. Uh, I'm going to have to see the replay to make a make a decision on this one myself. We didn't have the angle, but Glenn Rice looks like he's got good position, and I don't think. See, here's what you can always tell if a player is faking a charge because if you somebody really runs you over, um, you fall right back. If they fake, if they fake the uh, charge, you'll see uh, motion from the waist up because they're faking, so they move their shoulders back. And it looked to me like Glenn uh, used a little acting job there. Michigan resumes Higgins for three. Second three-pointer of the game for the Wolverines, and they are suddenly back to within two. Well, it's it's going to be a game of streaks, and Michigan's got one going right here, and they're back in. It. But see, in, in Higgins and Rice, you've got two players, again, who can do what very few players can do, go straight up and shoot a jump shot without putting it on the floor. Persistence by Irvin Small. He tries it again, and Ramil Robinson finally clears. Michigan can tie with a conventional field goal. Uh, again, Ramil picked his dribble up. Michigan before the five-second violation. 
Just barely before. Yep. <laughs> Four, 56 left to be played. First half. It's tightened up here in Champaign. We'll return after these messages from your local stations. Is Steve Dell on the verge of starting his own TV ministry? What four-way romance turned Gary Myers' name to mud on the set of TV's Facts of Life? I want to know. Did Kevin Matthews start a rank gate with a prank call to Oliver North? No, Ali, I need a favor. Also, Carrie Cochran searched for intelligent life on other AM stations. I couldn't find any. How many regulation-sized NBA basketballs can Ted Kopic fit in his mouth? How many calories in a pickle? What's the meaning of life? I want to know. Look to your AM dial, Inspiring Minds on AM 1000. Every winter, it's the stopping. It's the stalling. It's the crawling, or it's Metra. When it snows, we rain. Take your pick. Athletic shoes for women, children, and men, all $10.99 to $12.99 is $9.99. All $13.99 to $15.99 is $11.99. Pickway shoes now. Tonight, join us for 19 hours of non-stop entertainment to help fight cerebral palsy. Starathon 89 starts tonight at 1045. Join us. Accommodations arranged through Hilton. Come sample our classic American hospitality at any of nearly 300 locations across the U.S. For reservations, call 1-800-HILTONS. Wayne Larvey and Steve Grody. Michigan is on a run. Steve mentioned this would be a game of streaks, and right now Michigan is in one. They resume offensively. Well, I, you know, the streak really uh, started when Ramil Robinson came back in the ball game. I, I just think from a confidence level uh, and, and team continuity in all phases of the game, they need him in the line. Griffin trying to force it inside. Nick Anderson to Kendall Gill. Bardo. Liberty open at the baseline. Robinson trying to answer. Oh. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you, that is a big time move right there. Uh, quickness, speed, and strength. Taking the ball to the hole. Pass denied by Rice. Marcus Liberty out high. Kenny Battle. Uh, Kenny held, held the ball there just a little too long. When you hold the ball that long, the rest of your offensive players just stand around and nothing happens. Kendall Gill made it work. Illinois lead to get us four with 3.50 to go in the half. Yeah, Gill remedied that situation, didn't he? Just give it to me, I'll shoot it. <laughs> Terry Mills didn't handle it. Off the turnover. Illinois, chance for a six-point lead. There's Lou Henson patrolling the sidelines for the Illini. You know, and, and the Michigan coaching staff's just going to ask why is Ramil Robinson not bringing the ball up the floor? Uh, you know, R Robinson's a, a guy you want to try and wear down during the ball game, but he has, has uh, he's a great athlete, tremendously strong, but he's huffing and puffing out there right now. Kenny Battle. Nicely done at the baseline. Kendall Gill. Gill has 11 points. Kirk Taylor brings it up this time. And Kirk Taylor is a, a player who's just now beginning to learn how to play the point. Uh, in high school, he was a great player, but he really played the small forward exactly. position. Exactly. Rice. That's what Bill Frater said. He said Taylor's really a small forward type, and we're trying to convert him to guard. Bardo off the glass for two and a foul on Taylor. Yes, it counts. Second personal on Kirk Taylor. It's, uh, you know, you, when you talk about each of these individual players, it sounds, if you don't know their names, you use the same description about all of them. <laughs> I mean, they're just such great individual talents, and, and that's all that was. Um, you know, in, a, in a, a situation where you've got defense right on top of you, it's difficult to maintain the balance needed to shoot a good shot. And part of that time just rose right above it, uh, Taylor and, and, and shot a great bank shot. Durbin Small in the lineup in place of Kenny Battle for Illinois. Steve Bardo trying to complete a three-point play. <laughs> Much and better as a team from the free throw line, shooting 71, almost 72% from the foul line are the Illini. Well, and Illinois now has answered the, uh, the run by Michigan. Glenn Rice <laughs> quells the momentum for a moment. 
You know, uh, when he goes up to shoot it, I mean, it just looks like he's going to make it every time, doesn't he? He yeah. looks taller, lankier than 6'7". Well, he's bulked up a little bit this year, so he's improved his strength. Liberty on the drive. The people here at Illinois, people in the Chicago public school system and the Chicago high school basketball will tell you that Marcus Liberty is going to be a better player than Nick Anderson, and that says a lot. Michigan back live. Rice ahead of the field on the slam. Well, that's going to happen occasionally.